Too often we equate fame with the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it could be that a person traverses this earth unknown to people, but loved by Allah and the angels. But what then do you make of this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, where he said that verily, if Allah loves someone, in Allah ida ahabba abdan, when Allah loves someone, nada Jibreel, Allah calls Jibreel alayhi salam and says, Ya Jibreel, inni uhibbu fulan. O oh, Jibreel, I want you to know that I love this person. So you should love this person also. Jibreel alayhi salam does not need to know anything else about you except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you to love you as well. فَيُحِبُّهُ Jibreel. So Jibreel alayhi salam loves you as well. And then Jibreel alayhi salam calls all of the malaika and he is their master, he is their chief. And he says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ فُلَان To the inhabitants of the heavens, Allah loves this person. So love this person. So all of the inhabitants of the heavens love that person as well. And then Allah mentions, يُوضَعُ لَهُ الْقَبُولُ فِي الْأَرْضِ So the Prophet ﷺ says that acceptance is then placed in the hearts of the people for that person. Love is placed in the hearts of the people for that person. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind here. Number one, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only love that a person should seek unconditionally and do whatever it takes to gain that love. And if you gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then anyone whose love is worth having is going to be transferred to you as well. So if you gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jibreel alayhi salam will love you, the angels will love you, and the people whose love is worth having will love you as well. So that's the first thing to establish. The second thing is that the love that the people have of you has to be of something that is actually of you. And so sometimes as Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah said, if people are impressed by you, know that they're impressed by the hijab, the, the cover that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, the veil that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you because they don't really know you. And the reality is that people have to love you for a righteousness that is actually true of you. And so you're loved by righteous people for your righteousness and that righteousness is authentic, right? So it's not talking about uh, likes online or how many people follow you online, but people who are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, حُبَّ مَنْ يُحِبُّكَ The love of those that love you is transferred to you as well. And when Allah loves you and Jibreel alayhi salam loves you, and the angels love you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts that love in the hearts of the loved people to Him, the beloved people to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, then nothing else is worth pursuing. Because if Allah loves you, then who else is worth pursuing after that? And I really want to just hone in on this point when you're thinking about the angels and you're thinking about this extensive creation around you. The value of the creation to you is only to the extent that it brings you closer to the Creator. And that is true even of this mighty creation of the angels. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us beloved to Him, make us beloved to Jibreel, make us beloved to the angels, make us beloved to the Prophet, make us beloved to all of those righteous people who follow the Prophet Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and gain the love of Allah and the angels as well. And may Allah gather us in that station of love in the presence of the beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Jannah al Firdaus, where those special angels will enter upon us regularly and say Salam and we could look up and we could gaze at him day and night Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala.